Oppo has leveled up. The Chinese phone brand has historically made solid mid-range phones, but with the new Reno series, it's taken a more dazzling turn. The Oppo Reno 5G is, as the name suggests, a 5G phone, putting it in an exclusive class. In that territory, it's competing with the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G, the LG V50, and the OnePlus 7 5G. Unsurprisingly, it's the company's most expensive phone yet. If you live in the US, you can import the phone for around about a thousand bucks. There's also a 4G version, the Oppo Reno 10X Zoom, which is identical to the Reno 5G in all ways, except, well, 5G. It may be the future of mobile internet, but right now, the best selling points about the Oppo Reno 5G actually have nothing to do with 5G. Once a shameless maker of iPhone clones, Oppo's Reno phones have a distinct, slick design. There's no notch up top, so you'll take selfies on a shark fin style pop-up camera. Here, it bears a strong resemblance to the OnePlus 7, but that's not surprising given the two are essentially sibling companies. It has a two-tone back, coming in ocean green or jet black, which isn't as flashy as, say, Huawei's P30 phones, but it's a refined, subtle look. The next upgrade comes to the camera. It has a fantastic tri-camera setup, consisting of a 48 megapixel main camera, a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, and an 8 megapixel ultra-wide shooter. It comes with premium bells and whistles, like a night mode, 10 times hybrid zoom, and a handy ultra-wide setting. It's not the best camera out there, the Huawei P30 Pro has a slightly better night mode and a sharper ultra-wide lens. When I compared photos from the Reno to an iPhone XS, I found the iPhone deals better with sunny conditions as the Reno is prone to overexposure. But when it came to portrait shots and photos taken in ideal lighting conditions, I actually often preferred the Reno 5G. And keep in mind, it is the cheapest of those three phones. Finally, the Oppo Reno 5G is a powerhouse. It uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon 855 processor, currently the fastest on the market, and it has a crazy long battery life. But there are problems. My biggest gripe is Color OS 6, Oppo's take on Android Pie. There are some nice features here, like a shortcut box that can be dragged from the right side of the screen. But on the whole, the software drags the experience down rather than pulling the hardware up. One of the selling points of the phone is its five times optical zoom. So it's a little confusing that tapping the zoom prompt in the camera app pushes you from one to two to six times magnification. And there are some strange rough edges, like the notifications atop the screen, which look like their logos copied and pasted from Microsoft Paint. Is this a deal breaker? No, but you're paying a premium price, so the software should be premium too. Then there's 5G. This isn't a flaw with the phone as such, it's simply that 5G at the moment isn't really worth investing in. In the US, UK, and Australia, coverage is spotty, relegated only to certain parts of cities or suburbs. My experience ranged widely. I got up to 489 megabits per second in one 5G area, but couldn't go above 155 in another. 155 megabits per second isn't bad, and on that speed, I was able to download PUBG in under two minutes. But it's not the one, 10, or 20 gigabytes per second we've been promised. And even if it was, Coverage is just too limited to make using 5G convenient. But if you're looking to make an early investment in 5G, the Oppo Reno is the least expensive one you can make. It's also a great phone in its own right, which to me makes the cheaper non-5G version, the 10X Zoom, the more attractive deal. This is Daniel Van Boom for CNET. Check back to the site for the full written review.